गुड मॉर्निंग सर हे इज माय प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर मोहम्मद इस्मित या हे इज द फाउंडर एंड हेड एंड मैनेजर ऑफ आई एफ टी एस स्कूल दिस स्कूल इज स्पेशली अफिलेटेड विथ द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ अमेरिका माई प्रोफेसर हैज स्पेशली एक्सपर्टीज ऑन थ्री सेक्टर्स वन लिंग्विस्टिक वन चाइनीज एंड वन थियोलॉजी ही हैज डोन पी एच डी इन टू सब्जेक्ट्स वन लिंग्विस्टिक पी एच डी एंड अनदर वन थियोलॉजी पी एच डी स्पेशली द स्कूल हुईज हे इज रनिंग करेंटली हैज एट रिजनल सेंटर ऑल ओवर इन द वर्ल्ड स्पेशली इन अमेरिका अफ्रीका यूरोप कंट्री लाइक कोरिया हाइटी नॉर्थ अमेरिका यूएस कैनाडा नाइजेरिया और ब्रांस कॉन्गो साउथ अफ्रीका एंड जर्मनी ही हैज Uh, he is running uh, some regional center study center in different parts of the world he has very long experiences especially on teaching teaching learning uh, uh, teaching practicum teaching material preparation development and using instruction uh, instruction how to use material for odl uh, for teachers and learners especially he has contributed a lot for the school to prepare uh, syllabus curriculum course development exam system teaching practicum package for teacher and learners uh, he has helped hundreds of students especially uh, in home and abroad uh, for developing country like me he is uh, helping me also uh i'm getting full scholarship uh, from the school uh his uh, life principle is uh, especially success of students is his own success he, he believes uh he has already guided and supervised uh, two scholars of from nepal dr vidya adhikari one he already guided and supervised from nepal dr krishna bista mm. uh, who is now lujinia state university mm. uh, he also mm. yes learned from him now currently myself is doing phd from under his guidance yeah uh, he gives uh, much attention on especially uh, correction teachers correction is very crucial and important for odl mode mm. uh, he even corrected my assignment small small uh, correction like article or like this isn't it sir small <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah but this is uh, yeah. the germans the germans are very accurate this is a german mentality and it can be good but it also sometimes uh, cannot be good but uh, always a small thing correct it <laughs> yeah yeah uh yes uh it, that means being very strict and this is a german 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 way of doing it it can be good sometimes so always you are strict in precision uh uh-huh. yeah yeah but the thing is later he has to write his thesis in english yeah. and it must be proper uh english in the sense that it uh, is conform to the academic uh, uh appropriate language so uh, that's why i'm doing it in this case sometimes the article is wrong is using them and marking it that you better don't use and yeah. you can, can also learn from such things yeah uh i have introduced in short uh, yeah am i right sir yeah what i right. introduce yeah in, yeah okay now you can uh okay. start mm, discussing thank you, thank you sir first of all i would like to welcome you to this uh, yeah. very thank new you. Uh-huh. Nepal Open University. Yeah, I heard okay. it, and Shanaidik, that you're studying, uh, doing uh, distance education in yes. this country for the first time. For the first time. Yeah. It's only six months old. Yeah, he told me. <laughs> yeah. 
and then uh, we, are, we are in the very formative state that we need to develop courses, programs, train teachers, faculty, yeah. students, everything we need to do. So we are in a very, very busy schedule in one way. Uh, the, uh, the other way, we have so many challenges and so many issues regarding using this open and distance mode uh, sort of yeah. education system in Nepal because we are very much uh, practiced uh, and then culturally acceptable uh, format of education is face to face, yeah. not the distance, not using technology. Uh, radiation through technology yeah. the interaction between teachers and students. So that's the problem to us and these are the issues also. We have to make people convinced on the mode of teaching, mode of delivery, the quality, everything. So professors like you, senior professors and who have lots of experience as well as uh, expertise in this field to be very beneficial for this institution. Yeah. So my request would be if possible. I want to get some some of your contribution uh, yes. in this yeah. university because I'm it is in the establishment phase. Yeah. If something done very well, then this will go very well and well and well on that. Yeah, but you know, the th according to my experience, I, I can only tell you how we started and what our experience is. We started with nothing, with nothing. There was no. Uh, school building, there was no curriculum, nothing. So we, we started from scratch up and uh, we started in Kenya, in Nairobi and I have already, uh, I started developing courses according to an American system mm -hmm. and that means I, 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 I collected some textbooks, uh, suitable textbooks uh, in PDF, mm -hmm. then I took the textbook and I wrote a syllabus mm. file and then a third and exam file. So our uh, our courses or course modules and the far distance option consist always basically of three things. Syllabus file, textbook, one or two textbooks and then an exam file. Mm. The students is only send the exam file when he, he, he says okay he's ready to take the exam then he has to submit the exam within three days. So there's a, like at, at the university, there is a certain, certain time set and then he must uh, uh, submit it by email. Then we, uh, for example, a teacher like me or a, another volunteer uh, checks the exam, what the student has written. Then uh, uh, he's awarded a, a grade, something like A, B, C. It's recorded in a database. The, the exam, the corrected exam with a teacher's remarks and teacher's observation is sent back to the student. Mm. Um, well, and, and then he can go on. So, so this, is, this is the procedure. And according to our experience, it is very important that the teacher or the professor is giving feedback because there is a distance mm. between the student and the university and there is no teacher like, uh, like in class. So mm. if uh, the, the, the professor or the teacher at the university or a distance university does not explain to the student in detail what, what was the error, why did it happen and how he can improve. Yeah. It's of no value to the student and the, you must, uh, the, 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 the teacher is far away from the student, that's why it is far distance. So especially uh, taking care of the student by writing letters and explaining in detail is time consuming, can be also, uh, you, you have to concentrate, mm -hmm. but this is the job in far distance education. So I, uh, he, can, he can tell you about the assignments he is getting from me. Yeah. And for one course module, uh, he sends me back 87 typewritten pages. Yeah. And he gets, them, he, he gets them back within two or one or two days uh, by email, okay, yeah. full of corrections. Mm. And that's, that's how a student... Yeah, yeah. Well, he, yeah. Uh, we go. yeah. especially my experience, uh, my experience concern regarding um, getting such a world and experienced professor. Uh, he used to send me 
some textbook to read and be ready. Then some question letter he used to send. Then I had to do uh, or I had to solve the problem. Uh, immediately when I used to complete and send uh, my reply or answer to him, immediately within two or one or two days, he used to send me feedback with uh, detailed correction, maybe even minor, minor, uh, small, small article, English terminology or such minor things also he used to give me uh, correction. Uh, from him, I learned a lot. That is the way of giving feedback to student learners. Rather, giving big lecture in classroom and do something. Yes, I, I learned lots of things from his life and his uh, correcting and giving feed, feedback to learners. I'm uh, very much impressed from him. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, what I, want to, I forgot one of the questions. Uh, yeah. uh, System. <clears throat> no, um, anyway, uh, the thing is, if he says, well, I cannot say, comment on it because I, I provide the materials and I'm doing the work, but he must decide whether it is appropriate for him what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So I, I, I do not want to comment on that, but uh, if he says it's it's uh, okay for him, then uh, I'm satisfied because then I know that what I'm doing is uh, makes some sense mm -hmm. and it serves a certain purpose. And I'm basically I want to stress that I'm not getting I, I'm not getting any money for it. I'm not taking any money for it. It's just voluntary work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the way it should be. I don't like, I know that I've been, this is my third time that I come to Nepal and uh, I was last time, four years ago, I was in, it was in 2012, 2013, Bali, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I was teaching at a private college here, King's College. King's College. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they, 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 at that time they had something like a master program in business administration. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, well, of course, they, they have their system. But uh, I helped. I helped. I helped them to build up a language department, getting books for for uh, business communication. They have a subject called business communication, so it's a lot of English on uh, a lot of stuff about English and how to write a composition in English, how to structure a business letter, and, and stuff like that. Mm. And they didn't have the books because they didn't have anyone who was competent enough to find the textbooks. So. Mm. What I did was I, I went to I went with the, with the school bus I went to a library a big library somewhere in in Kathmandu and looked at the books they had and said okay take this we take this we take this and then the school got it and they put it in the library and they are now using it for the for their course or something like that but they they are charging money yeah and I mean business administration is something I'm not interested in I, nothing for me nothing it's, it doesn't mean anything. So what, uh, yeah, I have already uh, given to the dean, the, 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 the uh, dean who uh, was here. Yeah. I've given him a DVD with a complete uh, program from our school on, on English language and literature plus English teacher training. Thank you, sir. So um, you, you're free to use it. And you know the thing, well, I believe if you're starting right now to develop courses, you... My suggestion would be that you perhaps see if you can use something on the DVD. It's full of materials. For example, for the English teacher training, you even have videos. It includes videos uh, that shows uh, uh, teaching sequences. And you can provide this to the student and then you can see how the, uh, this teaching demonstration, how the teacher is teaching and you can make conclusions on the methodology used and you can, uh, students can give their feedback if they like it, why they don't like it or something like that. So, <clears throat> uh, you, well, I just to say this, you, you just try to, try to see what you can do with it and later uh, you can work with this first and then by the time progressing step by step gradually, you will find your own system. That's, that's our experience. I just started and did uh, 
developed in a way with, you know, the system, uh, textbook, syllabus file, exam file. Mm -hmm. uh, and we developed in a certain way, and uh, maybe it's not your way, but uh, if you have something, the first thing is very important yeah. to start with something. Yeah. Then you 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 make your own, you have your own experiences, whether that works with the students by student feedback or your own impression of the material, mm -hmm. and then you also know uh, what to make, uh, what, how to improve it, how to make it uh, better. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then, uh, but that this is the way to start. If you have nothing, you must start with something. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. True. Yeah, and then by the time you will you will revise the material and adapt it to to spe special uh, Nepali uh, circumstances and requirements. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I think this, uh, well, I believe it's a way to yeah, go. Yeah, good, good solution, sir. Good solution. We are also in the very scarce states. Like yeah. Nothing. This is the rented building. Whenever I got the appointment as the vice chancellor. I get only two things. One is the letter of appointment, the <laughs> The another one is the act of the university. Yeah. I was given only two things. They never, they didn't even show my office. Where should I stay? I don't know. So I took these two things to let one letter, one and the act, the photography of the act, and then I started to find some places, and then I took this in a rent. It's the rented building for the yeah. university, and just I am furnishing right now. And then I appointed to Dean, one is looking after social sciences and education, and one is looking after math management and law. And there are other tax teams uh, I constituted. They are, some of them are working on health sciences also. Yeah. Some are working on ICT, information communication technology, and education sort of things. Yeah. And uh, some are uh, developing uh, courses in education pedagogy, uh, and some some are in science and social sciences. So right now we are in the stage of developing the program and there are different tasks. Here. But the problem is that all those faculties who are involved in developing the courses, they are well trained in conventional mode. They are very <coughs> good, but yeah. little knowledge about distance learning, distance education, distance pedagogy, the nature of the distance students, the need of the distance yeah. That's the problem. So we need you know, some help, some sort of guidance from those who have already conducted. Yeah, if I can provide uh, some information or there's some problems, you always uh, please feel always free to ask me if I can uh, provide some answer, I will uh, be happy to do. Welcome, yeah, and uh, the, main, the main thing is, get started, do something, yeah. even if, don't be afraid to make mistakes, <laughs> so, yeah. you, uh, you only know later, yeah. when you only, uh, if it is a mistake, you only know when it's too late, but don't be afraid to make mistakes, you can learn from them, mm -hmm. and we also did, and uh, the main thing is that people, uh, the, the, the responsible people in this place, uh, that they are aware of the differences between education, traditional education with students present in class and distance education. Mm -hmm. So, and, and for example, if, they, if someone is writing a textbook, especially for Open University, he should write the text in a way that uh, in such a way that it can be understood by someone who does not know anything about the subject. Mm -hmm. So that means uh, the best thing is, to, for example, if you write a course in mathematics or something like that, write it in a way and then give it to some people to read who know nothing about the subject. If they can understand, then it's good enough for the students. So, I mean, you can have uh, different versions of a text and you can provide some version of text for people to read and to test whether it's understandable or not. Yeah. And by the way, how long will you stay here in Nepal? Uh, I will... Uh, well, I, I'm scheduled here for three weeks, so that means I will, uh, my, my plane back to Germany is going, is going, is leaving on January 10th. January 10th. Yeah. <coughs> uh, he is very, uh, very much keen to visit my starting site field. Uh, uh, as, yeah, as I am doing my field work uh, in Morang Japa district in Dhimal community, he is 
he wants to do go there. there. Yes, and see the uh, yes real scenario of people life and different activities. Yes, really, the supervisor yeah. you know, always needs to do yeah. something like that. Yeah, even to supervise you to catch them. That's yeah, good, good idea. So uh, by next week we will be moving to the Mal community. And how long will you stay? Mm, I think uh, within one week we you will come back. Yeah. yeah, one day going. One day coming, then uh, one day I will be taking my professor to my own village. Yes, good. Uh, what types of village we have? Then there are some uh, something what can be observed, seen there. Uh, he will observe there. Mm -hmm. Then next day, if possible, uh, the Mal, uh, people they have their own weaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. weaving. Uh, in loom, uh, I will and loom. yeah, hand loom and weaving yes skill. Yeah, you got some yeah. pictures yesterday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. There I will take him and how they weave and how they prepare. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it's a very really indigenous yeah. sort yeah. of technology. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, next day or same day, maybe same day or next day museum we have a small museum Dhimal Small museum. museum. Yeah, Japa. Japa. Uh, uh, just started. Uh, uh, yes, I will take him there to observe. Then some special houses, uh, like soil made house, not uh, brick and cemented house. Uh, what type of soil made? Then thatch house, uh, uh, straw roof, mm -hmm. uh, such house. I I would like to show him. Uh, there and life is standard, how the Himal people are really living. Living, yes. yeah. yeah. Uh, then he can observe and but yeah. how people are very cheerful yeah. even in that yeah. circumstances. Yeah. Uh, since you, you asked me uh, how long I stay here, well, anyway, I definitely <laughs> go back on January 10th because my flight is scheduled for that. But, uh, to use a German proverb, I'm not out of the world, that means I'm still there in Germany and I come back, I, I could come back anytime to Nepal, if it makes sense, as long as I'm healthy. I'm not to do it because I'm an old man, yeah? but as long as I'm healthy, no problem for me taking a plane coming back to Nepal, for example, if uh, you want me to work with, with something or cooperate with something. No problem. And other things can be done by email and yeah, yeah, I, or Skype. Is, Skype. Yeah, there is one German professor uh, who is uh, working with this university, Professor Wolf Can Schuette. Yeah, but uh, what's his uh, subject? Yeah, he is from uh, uh, law background, social sciences, and he usually works on inclusion, inclusive policy, something like that. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I provided an invitation and then he, uh, he requested to the government and then governments funded him uh, to work here in Nepal. Yeah. Uh, and he is coming here on February, uh, January 15th to... Uh, that means next year. Yeah. Next yeah. month. Next yeah. month. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, one month and then... Uh, actually, it is scheduled that he will spend about two months in a year to support this university. Yeah. Great. Because I, yeah. I made a request. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he's also the retired professor. Yeah. And then he's been but the, uh, uh, my cir circumstances are a bit different from him because he is working for a German university, so he's getting government funding. Yeah. I will not because. I never spent, well, most of my professional life I spent at universities outside Germany, so I have nothing to do with the German government. The advantage is I'm independent, because you must always be aware, if someone is sent or funded from Germany to, for a project like Open University in Nepal, there's always politics behind that. That means the Germans, are, they have a cultural a strategy of cultural policy and they try to influence uh, Nepali politics or uh, Nepali culture in favor of Germany. So there's always 
something behind. Mm -hmm. You know, if if there the government, if the, this professor has government funding, mm -hmm. the advantage is this 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 professor is he's getting his usual salary, which is very high in my country, maybe between four and five thousand euros minimum a month, mm. and uh, he will not. So, if you provide, can provide him with some salary for him, this is pocket money. I will do that. I yeah. Do that. Anyway, <laughs> I said in case. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I will come if if I come here. I will not have any government funding. I'm, I'm paying for my own flight. Eventually, I pay for my own hotel. Yeah, and so it's very different. But I am independent. Good. That's, that's I welcome you. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I welcome you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to to show. I also yeah. because I am in the very initial stage, and yeah. you know, Nepal is a very poor country in one sense. Yeah. And that if this, uh, the government has given a very small fund to me, I don't have much fund. Yeah. And but I can uh, charge fee to the student, not very high because it's the public yeah. university. I have to be, you know, very yeah. much concerned on this part also. Yeah. I should not charge high fee, yeah. maybe moderate fee, just to run the university. Yes. Yeah. And so, professor, like you, when you visit Nepal, when you come here, and whatever support I can do, yeah. just for you know, staying or. Traveling, or I can provide car. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. but please, please be uh, just. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to explain. The, a German professor is not like German professor. I mean, there are different types or different situations. So if I come here, I come on my mostly, more or less, I come on my own I, with my with the things I know that I'm willing to share, and nothing else. There's no government funding, nothing, Thank you, sir. nothing behind that. I, I don't need it. I don't want it. Yeah, he uh, just communicated me because I gave him invitation. I I told everything here, yeah. uh, yeah. uh, with terms and conditions and everything. Ah. Yeah. I have no money to pay. Uh, in this stage, I have to ask request to all the professors or everyone who yeah. wants to contribute voluntarily to Nepal. Yeah. And but uh, he told me that luckily I got that opportunity. He told. Yeah, but he would. The thing is, if he did not get the government funding, he would not do it. I don't know. <laughs> no, but I know the I know the German professors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the German professors, and I am exceptional. I'm not like a German professor because most of my life I was working abroad. Abroad. Yeah, hmm? and uh, so I can tell you, an ordinary German professor who has benefited from the German system. Hmm. He would never come here without funding yeah, for me. because he would not be prepared to to sacrifice his time or to 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 keep to to have a lower standard of living than he had before in his own country. Mm -hmm. I've been here in Nepal. I've worked for for King's College uh, uh, four years ago, and I only received a Nepali salary. Mm. Yeah, it was twenty eight thousand. Yes, but. Uh, I had difficulties to live on it because, as a foreigner, you know, I pay more. Each month, I have to go to immigration to prolong my visa. Five thousand, five thousand rupees. Mm. Well, then I have only twenty-three, uh, twenty-three uh, thousand uh, rupees left. Yeah, and and such things. But but I can do something with that. Uh, making request yeah. to the government is the public university, and um, yeah. I, I can have. Because I also, I worked into one university for 30, 31 yeah. years. And I also coordinated different collaborations uh, as yeah. a, being a coordinator but of it, different universities. Uh, uh, imi immigration, immigration is very difficult because uh, what I have now is a tourist visa. Uh, According to the tourist visa law, uh, I am not allowed to work. Even not allowed, yeah. Even not as a volunteer, I'm not allowed to work. So, if you want to follow the bureaucratic, bureaucratic procedure uh, according to the law in Nepal, you have to go to this department, another department, to ask for uh, a working visa, even as a volunteer. Mm -hmm. And the system is absolutely stupid, inefficient. We tried once, uh, last time I was here, but I tried. But I, I'll try to make it easier. Yeah. I'll try my job. The system... Because, because usually in university, yeah. Uh, there is uh, that provision. 
Yeah. As a, you, you are the professor. Yeah. And then <clears throat> as a professor, I can invite you. You can stay here. You can work in this university, I think. Yeah. By law. Because I am in this stage of making law, I can put something over there. Yeah, you know, I don't want to do anything <laughs> illegal, but last time, last time when I was in Nepal working for King's College, I actually worked illegally. That means I, I prolonged, I had to prolong my tourist visa each month yeah, yeah. for 5,000 uh, rupees. But actually I was working, although I was not allowed to, and I d don't want to do such, such thing. This, because this is not my rule, but the, the reason is the system in Nepal with the, getting the uh, work, uh, uh, work, uh, work permit is so stupid. And complex at that time, at least the regulations. And if you go to the offices, they tell you wrong things because they even don't know themselves. Mm. They tell you wrong things. They tell maybe it's that or some that. And then you have to go there. You ask no, go to the other place. Yeah, and, ah, you get crazy. Yeah. Ah. That means you spend most of your time you spend on, on doing this uh, stupid uh, bureaucratic thing instead of uh, taking your time to do something useful, uh, uh, helping the school. And you know, if the whole day or for two days, all 10 hours, I go from one stupid office to another stupid office, in the evening I'm tired and I'm not no longer able to, to think about uh, something, how can I have the school? That, that's a reality. Very and very <clears throat> but actually, uh, that should not be that, uh, yeah. that way. They deal you know, differently. Yeah. They, they deal very differently. That's not the way. Yeah, I mean, uh, if because we went if a, an institution like yours needs uh, for some time needs some uh, volunteers from abroad, they should they should make it easier, easier. for them and not uh, so complicated. Yeah, it's no, very, the, that I system know, in two thousand twelve very uh, stupid. I think it's not difficult. Even yeah. in Tsinghua University, I invited professor from Japan and professor from US and other countries. And there was international relations division there in the, within the university. Yeah. And that international relations write one letter to the immigration and the ministry. Mm -hmm. And within uh, within days they will provide. And then okay. the professor came there, and then <coughs> just a very minimal amount uh, to pay if they, the professor is doing research or something. Yeah. That's a minimal forty dollars something like that mm -hmm. just for. Yeah. Uh, and then I think there is no problem at that time. Yeah. Um, um, but, uh, you know, why did they are the private yeah. institutions? Private, because, because they are the private. private yeah. And then yeah. maybe the private institution might have been some, doing something. something yeah. Something. yeah. No, I, when, maybe the case. when I was working at, at, at King's College in 2012, that was one job. I, I, but I had another job that was, uh, that was a small private elementary school. Mm. A very poor, very poor school, but organized by some private people, and I helped the people there for nothing. Yeah, I, I did. I mean, I didn't get any money for it, or, or I had any benefit for whatsoever. I just did it because they asked me to. And uh, I found it more useful to do this than just work for the the college because the, the college was just a money thing, you know. Just, uh, mm. but. Uh, the thing is, I'm willing to do something like that, but I don't want, I don't want hassle with the bureaucracy. <laughs> Maybe this uh, private, uh, because of private... Uh, no, they do the same thing at that time, at least. I know, I was willing to work okay. as a volunteer for a public high school, state high school teaching English. And help the teachers and help the students, you know, yeah. and the same thing. Because American was they made it made it awfully yeah. difficult. Yeah, yeah. It, these offices and and and. You know, And I, according to my experience, never again. But it's true. <laughs> if someone is doing all those, I things. like to do something for students and for the school, but not for the stupid immigration. <laughs> 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 <laughs>